Hello, it's Keith for KMA's Corner. Welcome! I am back on the Athens server. Which is a server I play. You can join us down below in the description. There's a link to get on here. But one of the things I uh, initially did when I came on here is I wanted to get one of everything. So, I have decided to start this series on here called the Quest for Everything. And once the quest is done, I think I may, I just may, start a building series on here. But what is this quest for everything you say? Let's see. I have this little storage room. And it has some blocks. You know, a whole bunch of those. But this chest is mixed. There's a mix of granite, stone, and some other stuff. But what I want is a chest for granite that looks like that. A chest for stone that looks like that. A chest for spruce wool that looks like that. So basically I want to get a double chest of all the blocks. Not every single thing because things like name tags, golden apples, cobwebs, hoppers, and banners, stupid things like that, and I'm not going to make full chest of. But blocks, a double chest of diorite, a double chest of andesite. I already have a double chest of cobble. Ice. Probably won't do packed ice because we don't have a packed ice biome here. And the only way I can get packed ice if, is if I trade for it. So basically, I want this storage room to be all the different blocks in the game. So I think I'm going to do some rearranging and I will be back. Um, because I think around the corner here, corner, I'm going to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's dark out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, make some sort of, maybe a straight drop, drop a water drop here. That goes into um, another storage room that has more of my valuables. But up here in this storage room, I think it's just going to be my blocks. So, let's get going and start this up. I'm going to rearrange the chest, blah, 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 the chests, then I'll be back with you. So, I have uh, done the chests over a little bit. I have decided what to put in them. Um, I got the stone, cobble, dirt, I'm talking exo there, by the way, diorite, andesite, granite, oak, spruce, birch, you know, the woods, then I got the gravel and the two sands, uh, the coarse dirt, clay, then the hardened clay, the grass pods on mycelium, the nether rock stuff. Uh, the sandstones and the ice, obsidian and and quartz stuff, the guardian temple stuff, and the nice lights with the glass. I might change up the glass for jack-o'-lanterns just so I can have my lighted places, but I think I'm going to just make the jack-o'-lantern something I can make. So now, unfortunately, the problem is, yes, I do have cobble in that chest. And it's not organized yet. All I've done is figured out um, what I want to store in them. The um, There's like a cave underneath me or something. And it's really aggravating me. Um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the proper stuff in the proper places. And i got to figure out what to do with all this excess junk that I have in here. Um... Look at all this. That's not going to be in this room. This is just going to be the block room. So I got to find out a storage place. And I think I might bring it over to my um, place over here. Uh, I don't know if I can see it from here. Yeah. I'm going to bring it over to the castle. So I have, I have six chests that I don't use in their castle. And the castle is going to be one of the places that... Um, I'm going to keep my stuff. Then I might have a big storage room underneath all this also. 
Uh, but we'll see. I will show you when I am done, okay? Well, I uh, cleared up the chest. So let's go see what I've done. Hi. The hardest part about doing this was getting rid of all the excess stuff. But everything is labeled now. As you see. Oops. And uh, none of the excess stuff is there anymore too. Which is rather good. But the problem being is um, I needed a place to put the excess stuff. So what I did um, is I uh, threw it over here. Oops. At my castle. I'm going to get rid of this night because that's quite annoying. Especially with the rain. But all these chests you see over here is all the excess. It's a lot of crap. And uh, so I got to figure out what I want to do with that. And I'm thinking I might build a building over there. So we'll see. And if I do, I'll let you know. I'll show you the progress. So I do want it kind of close to those uh, chests there. So over here would be a little bit too far. I might keep armor and swords over here, but I think I really want to build something way over there. So we'll see. I am so excited. I have been invited to the Hermitcraft server. I'm in one of Slip Gators little, what is it? Chest pod? Storage pod? I can't believe it. One, introduce yourself, Slip Gator. Slip Gator? One, do I have to go up there and find you? Oh, wait a second. Of course, I'm not on the Hermitcraft server, but this is where I'm going to be putting my excess stuff, all the goods. I decided I'm not going to, um, <laughs> I decided I'm not going to, um, make this building over here like I thought I was going to. I'll leave that for another thing. But at least I have this little secret place. Because when people come out of here, when they come to my world, this is where they come, and there's nothing here. You know, I mean, they got my storage, but who wants, you know, and stone and wood? Everybody's got that crap, you know. But they, come, they can come through here. They're not gonna see that. They'll just go right on through. Yeah, so don't tell anybody. So I'm going to uh, put signs on here, bring the stuff over that I brought over to the castle, back over to the side, and I'll get back with you. This is what I've been doing all day. I've been bringing materials over to Slipgator's invention that he did on the latest Hermitcraft server. Ah, um... It's a nice little invention. It's a hidden little storage place. I did make it with the diorite in honor of Slipgator and the, the design. All I needed really was um, oh, the blue glass, but instead I put up um, the wood floors up there so it would look good from up north. So let me... Uh, kind of quickly give you an idea of what I've been doing for the last little bit. So here we go on an adventure. I don't know if it's daytime or night. We've been running 
Now, of course, it's nighttime. Run past the mobs. Bye bye. Oh, he still got me, that little devil. Let me go run over to my castle. Run, run, run. This is my Smurf castle where I uh, put everything that came out of my storage room away. Uh, I'm going to go take a nap real quick in my throne. I based this castle on something B double O made. I like it. I added the blues. The blues. And there's my throne, which <laughs> acts as a bed. So I have, um, as you see, those are the stuff I like to carry. I have emptied out all these chests. I have left the food, some extra arrows, armor, and weird stuff here. Stuff that should belong in the king's place. And this is what I have left to bring over to the little pod. Um, some extra enchanted books. And we are filled up. So I run back to my little storage pod. That's what I'm calling it right now. Past my little Helm's Deep influenced bridge there. <laughs> I, I figured out a newer way to do bridges and uh, I will do better than that in the future. I don't have any diamonds left in this world. Wow. So I'm also gonna put a ender chest down there just so I have access to the real sweet stuff that I own. So I keep a uh, stack of all the stuff I need in there. So let's look for coal ore. Well, we're filled up with coal ore. We also have the secondary chest of coal. Uh, where would crap? I wonder if I have a place for books yet. I might as well go through all these things. Not all, all not all of them are labeled yet. Um, because some of these chests are empty still, so I have good way to um, add stuff to it later. Mob drops, obviously. Uh, gonna probably separate these drops in a little better. Naturals, which is woods and stuff like that. Foods, obviously food. I did leave some foods over there, so I don't know if this is where I'm gonna keep my food or over at the castle. We haven't decided yet. Wood stuff the excess potions the stuff I've crafted you know kind of made which I guess is enchanted books too so this is where all the stuff goes and I'll show you the rest of the chests redstone crafted redstone stuff that I've been using obviously I don't do redstone too often my iron supply I got tons of coal gold emeralds redstone um, yeah I've been giving away my diamonds too much I think I've given away a stack and a half of diamonds on the server because I didn't really see me coming back and playing here but I think I'm going to um, there's the lapis there is nothing up here yet so we got the stone extra blocks then we got the cobblestone and the extra places for cobblestone because you always have a few extra chests to cobble. Here's my stake, stained clay collection. So that's basically it. Everything that doesn't belong up, upstairs and stuff I kind of want to keep not hidden but secret so people don't, don't really go through these chests as much as the others. Because like I said at the beginning of the episode when you come to my place this is the first view you get. And everybody, including myself, are chest holes, so, you know, people want to go through the chest. And I just want easy access to the building blocks, stuff that I would be building with. So, if I wanted jungle wood, I can just jump in there. If I wanted some, this prismarine, I can go in there, and so forth and so forth. You know, soul sand, I got the soul sand. Oh. Got, you know, the rack. 
not much of this yet. So it's just a way to make it a little bit easier to grab all my stuff. So this is a, uh, yeah. So this is what I plan on doing. Uh, and I don't know if it's gonna be in the next episode, but I've been working. I'm gonna get up here and give you a little talk. I've been working with uh, a guy on the server named Exo. Uh, we've been working on a track, uh, basically where it's going and the design of each rail area. So, you know, making tracks, you kind of divide it up into segments, so you repeat the set segments. I build on a very strict, I like every single thing at 15 blocks, and then this, this archway goes up four blocks, and so forth and so forth. He kind of does things um, randomly, which makes things look more human, I guess. Um, and so we're both going to be building it, and he kind of wants me to try and build it random. But first, he's going to choose the pathway. And once the pathway is got, we are going to build a track that kind of monorails around all the different places on the server, and maybe next episode which there will be a next episode i'm gonna actually put a schedule on this series um it's gonna be an athens series don't know exactly what i'm gonna call it yet i might just continue calling continue the athens tour as this series um which i hope will be cool i'm gonna go uh, i got stuff and things to do um i want to go get my materials before i forget so, um, each week I will do my best on which day, I forget which day is Athens Day. I think it's going to be on Sundays. Sundays. Um, I'm going to put up an Athens video from the server. And basically what I'm going to do is work on it on Sunday during the day because it's my day off. And upload it Sunday night. So it's fairly new and regular. There's my stuff and things. I keep referencing Slip Gator because this episode is basically dedicated to his existence, his ability to choose the best looking white and blues for his uh, builds. I really like his diorite and uh, glass. In his builds yeah there we go um, so basically the way this world is gonna be it's gonna be uploaded every um, Sunday Sunday evening probably Eastern Standard United States time because I'm from Florida um, all my swords, extra swords and bows, and I guess I'll take the food away from here. We can put it in the pod. Um, I don't know why that's there. We can take that and that. Take that food. We'll run back over. We can keep the the eye, uh, the chest, and all that stuff. We don't want to clutter up the king's place, right? Because we already got like chests arm armored yeah you know these chests and armored stands um so yes the weekly athens episode um i was getting an, i was gonna be telling you something in that thing and i forgot what i'm also gonna be um starting a ctm map Sea of Flames. I kind of hinted at that with some people. Um, that I think is going to go up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to change my... This is all spec speculatory right now. But I'm going to change my um, Minecraft Uncut series instead of being every single day of the week. Which is a little much. I am going to... Look at all this mutton. I am going to, um, mob drops, we can add the excess things there, uh, crafted, we can add that, yes, 
so the uh, uh, Minecraft Uncut is still going to be the same amount of time every week. Um, but it is going to be uploaded three days a week. So instead of six 20 minute episodes with a Minecraft Uncut then one week highlight episode on Sundays, I'm going to do three 40 minute episodes each week. So the same amount of time two hours of episodes and um, then I don't know if I'm gonna continue the cut series which is the best of part because I, I started the building phase and there's really not much <laughs> best of while you're building and then I am also gonna do a single-player world edited kinda like this video was edited um, just showing segments of stuff that I'm building as I'm building it and that will probably go up on Saturday so Monday uncut, Tuesday CTM map, Wednesday uncut, Thursday CTM map, Friday uncut, Saturday uh, single player world, edited single player world, a new world, I've already uh, got the biome chose or the location chose, then on Sunday an episode from Minecraft uncut. When will that start? Hopefully next week. Let's see what today is. Today is the 18th, so I think on the 26th, next Sunday, I will upload this episode and start that new schedule. Except for the Minecraft Uncut is already scheduled to be uploaded seven days a week to the first week in June or the second week in June. So, um... So, um, it's going to be six days a week until I get through the scheduling thing. I would like to thank you for joining me on this journey, uh, putting it up with my Minecraft Uncut series. I know it's a very hard series to watch, and I just play Minecraft more, oops, I play Minecraft more than two times a week, or two hours a week, and I wanted some other ways of doing Minecraft. I'm going to try and keep up the schedule, it's really hard to do with uh, family and stuff and loudness in my apartment all the time. Um, as people who have actually worked with me and heard what type of noise happens in my apartments and the meltdowns from my child and the screaming wife uh, understand. So I'm going to do my best to stay to that schedule and um, so that's going to be it. Oh. Stop opening those chests. This is Keith for KMA's Corner. Have a great day.